part of Ghana. We want to acknowledge as many as are coming together in various families, in our church auditoriums, and on our campuses, all in response to the call for one million intercessors. This is the virtual prayer night with our dear chairman, and on this note, I humbly invite our prayer coordinator, Apostle Colonel Dr. B.G. Kumi Wood, to take us through the night. Apostle. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give glory to God for giving us another opportune moment to encounter him in the throne room, even in this moment of intercession and of prayer. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to invite all those who are in your area, your jurisdiction, to join up as we zoom into prayer this time. We will have, beginning with us, the adoration session to be led by Pastor Gabriel Owusu of the Osu District. Osu District Pastor will lead us in the period of adoration. We will then be followed by the first intercession led by Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin, the Evangelism Director of the Church of Pentecost. Then we will be followed by Apostle Kweku Frimpon Buedu from the UK for the second intercession. The climax will be by Pastor Felix Anti of Grace PRWC Graceland to lead us in the last intercession. So let's be in tune. Let our hearts be lifted. Let's be all geared up as we encounter God this time also. So we invite Pastor Gabriel Owusu to lead us in the period of adoration. And beloved, our dear chairman is here with us this time. And our general secretary is also here with us. So the house is fully packed and the Lord is here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We give glory to God. We bless his name for his faithfulness. The Lord has been good. And we thank God we have entered day two of our virtual prayer night. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to read from Psalm 86. Psalm 86, the verse 9 and 10. Psalm 86, verse 9 and 10. The NIV says that among the gods there is none like you sorry verse 9 all the nations you have made will come and worship before you lord they will bring glory to your name for you are great and do marvelous deeds you alone are god hallelujah Amen. he alone is god there is none like him so job says can you fathom the mysteries of god can you probe the limits of the almighty no one can for he alone is god why don't we lift up our voice and begin to worship this great god alter oh, his praise declare his glory magnify the name of the lord with me let's lift his name together for he alone is god there is none like him there is no one like our god he rules and he reigns he is almighty no one can measure Oh, Makosa Tende, Balia, Rado, Bakabala, Branda, Labaha, Mayen, Debede, Bakabason, Delele, You are mighty Lord, Basende, Labrando, Komasia, Dalabaha, Ibaye, Mosato, Matona, Randa, Lalabaha, So, Mata, Ebakaban, Dibi, Dibi, Dibahasa, Rondo, Lobo, Sebele, Bekapaha, Iame, Satonda, Bahanda, Brando, Seleanda, Bacapanda, Bahaya, oh, Lebando, Sediande, Le Bacapa, you reign, you rule, oh, Setende, Lebe, oh, mighty God, Bayanda, Labaha, Rando, oh, Setende, Lebe, Kabaha, all nations you have made will come and worship you, Bayende, Basota, Libri, Ikapahanda, Baha, Mosando, Baliande, Lebe, Kapa, Hiro, Sete, Baliande, Labaha, Oh mighty God, Basende de 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 baha, Ire Mosanda, Ibo Sato, Balibriaha, Ikabahanda la baha, Zonde de 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 baha, 
in the name of Masute, La Brian de Kabahaba Suda, Ruse Telebakapaya, you are mighty Lord, Pisando, Kamende, Brianda Labaha, Lubrio Sakaba, who is like unto our God, who is like unto our King, who can be compared to this great God, you are Lord Almighty, Masende Baha, Libranda Baha, your ways are beyond comprehension, oh, your ways no man can fathom. Balibri ika sondo, baleba da bahata ya baha. Oh my, tiko.
In the name of Jesus, my Oh, we bless you, Lord. In my country, most blessed, most glorious, ah, the ancient of things. Hey, Kabasa, almighty, be.
crown you Lord we crown you Lord we crown you with many crowns for you alone are God there is no one like you among the gods who is like unto thee you are glorious in holiness be enthroned in our worship have your way O Lord have your way King eternal immortal God invincible God be exalted in Jesus name Amen revive me O Lord let your spirit lead me so that I may know your way so that I Because it's very 
the right hand of yours belongs Hallelujah. to you, give the King of Kings a wave. Glory be to the Almighty God. God. What a blessing it is to be part of what God is doing at a time like this. Mm. You want to shout amen. 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 Tonight is another night. A night of privilege to be coming into the presence of God with supplication and intercession. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to bless God and our great leader, Apostle Eric Yamiche, and the fantastic prayer leadership team for this privilege. Now hear me, as intercessors, part of our responsibility is to receive and to give. Shout amen. 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 And at this time of our prayer, in the next few minutes, I want you to lose focus of yourself. Get lost of your surrounding. If even you are with me here in this studio, get lost of yourself. This is the second year. This is the second day. Hallelujah. Amen. And our, our, our prayer is going to be making a demand upon the ability of God to bring to us a season of signs wonders and miracles Amen. i cannot hear the hallelujah that is one of the greatest signs of the fact that revival has arrived apart from the spirit of repentance that pours forth you know jesus himself the bible says was accredited with the spirit of signs and wonders it was attested to him and every one of us as we stand in the presence of God, must come to God in a season when God reaches out his hands and touch us. And touch our ministry. And touch our church. And touch the place where we are. And when he does, it is very visible. Amen. It is one of the greatest prayers that they ever prayed. And the Bible says, when they lifted up their hands, they asked God and said, grant that the preaching of our word will be back with signs and wonders Hallelujah. so that the people will be able to listen to us. Himself, Jesus, according to Acts chapter 2 verse 23, was attested with the fact that God accredited his ministry with signs and wonders. The early disciples, according to Acts 2 chapter 43, says the fear of the Lord came upon every soul because many signs and wonders were done through the apostles. Amen. The nations will not be grasped with it until they come to that point where they come to tit a tit to the fact that these men and women in their churches, in their communities, in their homes, and in their surroundings come with something extraordinary. Shout amen. 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 No matter who you are, whether you are a preacher or not, a nurse or a medic or a teacher, there is a touch of signs and wonders in your life. And listen, no matter where we have come to, there is something in God that we have not exploited yet. And in prayer tonight, touch, make a demand upon his ability. Whether you can, die, you can lie or run or jump or raise up your hand, something must happen to you. How shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him. For God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders. With various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. Acts chapter 2 verse 3 to 4. If you want to rise, you can rise at this moment. If you want to bow down, you can bow down at this moment. I am lifting a song. Oh, in tree. But in the explanation is that he is the unchanging God who is always the same. He is always the same. Oh, da 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 let your two hands go where you are oh, oh, so in your house in your room oh, so let it on oh, oh, so da 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 oh, so oh, so 
and begin to pray. They are greater to the Christ who prayed was that God will confirm their preaching with healings and signs and wonders. Our greater desire is that God will bear witness to our preaching, to our witnessing with various miracles and signs of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. Now, Lord, you found your friends and grants to your church and your servants that with all boldness you may speak your word by stretching out your hands to heal. The signs and wonders may be done through the name of your Holy Son, Jesus. Visitation of miraculous signs and wonders. Call signs and wonders to be ordinary in every facet of your church, in the local assembly, for your word says of God that you confirmed with special signs and wonders in the life of the Apostle Paul. As we pray together tonight, we pray, O oh God, Oh God, we pray that the healing and miracle unction in that will come upon the church, the signs and wonders will become ordinary in your church henceforth. We pray it for the oh God. Confirm the preaching of the word with signs and wonders. Rabba Babos in Arabo Babai Tato Rabba Sanda Baha Yeri Rivo Saba. Pour it forth by your power. Pour it forth by your hand. Pour it forth, oh God. Rabba Babos Kabere Babere Babos Kabana Rabba Babata. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. We hold the hem of your garment. Let the virtue of the spirit. We reach out our hand and we touch your arm. We touch where your blood is. Rabba Sota Rabando Sabaya. In the Rabai Shado Rabado Simanaba. We make a demand upon our ability. Transform our lives. Transform our lives. Rabado Sibranda Send forth your spirit, pour forth your spirit, bring us to that place which your word has spoken. Henceforth, as we pray, let there be an opening of the spirit of science, of the spirit of miracles, great as it was in the days of the beginning, in the days of the acts of the apostles do it oh god by your mighty power everywhere your church moves the church 
earth will be followed by signs and wonders. Everywhere your apostles move, your apostles will be moved with signs and wonders. Rosta Heri Maya Mando, turn us around by your spirit. Turn us around by your spirit. Turn us around by your spirit. Rabados Kaboni Vika Panda Baha, Rabada Basso Toro Grote Rosta Heri Maya Mando. Wherever you are, if you are sitting, rise up and reach out your two hands. Whenever God pours forth spiritual signs and wonders of miracles, the first thing is that the person who himself becomes the conduit is first touched by the spirit himself. We are connecting to every one of our people who is on this platform who has been sick, who has been weak, who has been shattered, who has been broken down. Many of our pastors, many of our elders and our people are so sick. But as we reach out now, we want to connect them. Let a wire of healing go through their lives right now. Let us pray in faith. Reach out. And if you are sick anywhere, the power of Jehovah is touching you right now. It's reaching out to every sick. We bind every spirit of sickness and disease into every home, into every home, into every locality, into every local assembly. Whoever is here connected to us, we pray healing. We pray healing. We pray sign. We pray wonder into your life right now. Rabados Kaboni Mai Shakara, Ilolobosa Mandabaha, Rabados Abriande Rebosta, Ilababas Kaboni Mandabas Kaboni Mandabaha, Ilababa Rabapa, Ilababa Rabapa, Ilababa Rabapa, Rabapa Rabados Kaboni Rebosta, Ilababon Rebosta. Let the healing body of God, let the supernatural power of God go touch everyone, go touch everyone, touch every woman, touch every child, let every deformity be changed in the house. Let every spirit that is not of you be chased away in that place. Let a sick be healed. Let the paralyzed rise up. Let the blind eyes heal. Let a cripple walk. Rakosa let this hand of God reach out and touch the sick and touch the incapacitated, touch everyone that is broken. We break every power of sickness, paralysis, and the life of everyone. Brokenness, we break it. We command healing. We command healing. We the garment of the Lord. We command healing into every house. We command healing into every soul. Everyone here connected to this wire. Let the power of healing of God, signs and wonders, come into that house. Rabados ibadabaha, Rabados kabanda rabasa, ilababanda rabasa, ilababanda rebosa. Hear me, hear me, reach out your hands wherever you are, reach it out. It, it appears to me that any time God brings a visitation, one of the signs he uses to demonstrate in the homes is that a parent gets healed and a child is born. It happened to Abraham. 
it happened to John the Baptist and it happened through across the word of God it happened to Hannah when he was give, going to give birth to Samuel if God has indeed poured forth that spirit upon us we are reaching out to the people in our church who have been crying for babies some do not have wombs God must create a womb tonight some do not have fallopian tubes God must create one tonight some have all kinds of cysts God must remove it tonight we are carrying babies twins triplets into the home visualize some of your members visualize some of your your, your people there and see God demonstrating this miracle let us begin to pray everyone pray for the Bible have declared to us there will not be any barren in the house of God there will not be any barren in the house of of God, there will be no barren in the house of God. We bind every spirit of barrenness and we pray tonight. Rabasom in Imawan Dabaha, in the Rebosky Marabaposki, in the Minimis of I, let there be breakthroughs, breakthroughs, oh God. Rabasata Bandora Bassa, Hilabanda Bassandaba, Hilabanda Lalaba. No. <laughs> Labrando, let babies be wholesale. Rababos, he branded a post of fire. Hilanda, la la brosa fire. Fire massa banda la babaya. In every area of our members, we are praying God for supernatural breakthroughs. Breakthrough in their marriages. Some of our women are getting to sister. Some of them virgins, more than 50 years old, sitting in church, still waiting and crying for the visitation of God that has not happened. Let there be an opening of a miracle to our members, wherever they are, in their finances, in their marriage lives, in their children's lives. Some of the children are even hooked to all kinds of powers of darkness and mothers and fathers are crying and they don't know what to do because their babies have left home hooked to friends and all kinds of addiction let us pray in faith that there will be a supernatural breakthrough in the house of the homes of our members pray 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 to god Branda da da bosca brandizaya, filele boski beni boski brondi ne ne bosa, halala bashanda da da bandoro bosa barikata, filele bosha manda bahasa ba, filaba banda da ba ba ya, filaba banda da da ba, filaba banda da 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 ba ba, bosta rabosta ba, haloni mai sha ba, oh. Amen. Obey you are yeah. Amen. But Bada was Amen. 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 All nations shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. Ma 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 
Beloved intercessors, if you are in your house, please rise. If your children or your wife is beside you, you can hold hands. Here in this studio, I want every hand to hold. Listen, I believe that a season is done in, in our time. God has put in the hearts of the chairman that all PIWCs be gathered together in Germany and all the city churches. But this is a historic meeting. Whatever puts it in his heart is a miracle. Because that PIWC is the future of this church. Nobody expected the Pensa International to spring out out of it the way it is. God is about doing something. At this conference, we want to proclaim Ezekiel 36. By crying unto God that whatever you decide to do, I will just read a portion in Ezekiel 36, verse number 25, coming down to 27. And listen, it says, Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. And I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. And I will give you a new heart. Shout amen. amen. And put a new spirit within you. So the Lord must visit us at that conference. Cleanse us by his word and put a new spirit. That will be like a wave that will spring forth from that meeting everywhere. People will talk about it. The next generation to come. He said, I will give you a new heart and a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status. And you will keep my judgment and do it. But listen, the verse 37 says, that says the Lord God. I will also let the house of Israel inquire of me to do this for them. So it is our responsibility to cry to him that hand you have held lifted up don't pretend but be broken that god this is your word at that conference pour forth your spirit change lives stay up bring revival greater than ever before let it be greater than the Jesus sweet revival cry to God we are making a demand of God upon your ability in this hour and this day let the wave of the Spirit of God that transforms and changes lives come upon your people. Let our lives be changed. Let our lives be changed. Put God in your fear a new spirit and a new heart greater than ever before than ever we have imagined. Move in your 
power. Move like a fierce wind. Move, oh God. Cause the hearts of men to be broken. Cause the spirit of repentance to come upon your people. Take away every heart that is stony and put in our hearts a heart that is of flesh. Change us, oh God, in every home, in every land, in every group of people. Mommy, Now I want you to rise up and everywhere you are lift up your two hands. I want to try the grace of God to stand in our stead and make intercession and supplication to the God of heaven tonight. But when I am done, if you are sick, you are healed. Amen. If you have not had a touch of God, a touch will just come your avenue. Some of you will feel it physically in your palms and in your belly and in your spirit where you are standing. That the fire of God Oh, has come God. forward. It doesn't matter where you are standing. Lift it up. Almighty God, Almighty God. I come before you with a raised hand tonight in the Amen. name of Jesus. These are your people you have consecrated and set apart. That daily and weekly and monthly will be waiting upon you. A man can receive nothing except it is given to you above. We lift up our hands to you, O oh God. If it has pleased you that you make your people a conduit to the blessing of this world, then Father, give us a touch tonight. From the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, irrespective of where we are, give us a touch tonight. I pray, O oh God, a resurgence of the spirit of signs and wonders and miracles in every part of your church in for father remember that you did great signs and wonders supernatural things through the hands of the great apostle paul therefore signs and wonders are ordinary to your people as our hands are raised cause that season to dawn by the power of the Holy Ghost to every man and woman the hearing of my voice let the touch of supernatural touch your eyes, touch your ears touch your lips, touch your hands touch your feet in the name of Jesus and may you be changed tonight by the power and the touch from heaven, receive it now in the name of Jesus now I pray Yes, Lord. everyone among this group oh, God. and even beyond who is incapacitated bedridden sitting in a wheelchair lying on your bed declared incapacitated I pray the resurrected life to come into you right now I pray the power of the resurrection to touch you right now be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus I command every barren woman to be fertile by the touch of God. Let your womb be touched. Let your womb be touched. Let your ovaries be changed. Let your entire body be changed. If you are a man, let God put another strength upon you. In the name of Jesus. 
Masora, I pray breakthrough into every house. Let every crying in every home, let children who have run away from home, let every financial thing that is strained be healed today in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, with our hands lifted up, we ask for your grace for the conference in Germany that it will be told yet another time that not in the days of Seymour, not in the days of John Wesley, not even in the days of James McKeon, but in our time, you appeared like a globe, you appeared like a fire, you appeared like a thunder, you did the supernatural, you shake the unshakable, you wash the hearts of men, you broke the spirit of man, you put a new spirit in us, you caused a stir of revival you did that which has never happened before we believe this prayer because you are a prayer answering god and so we say thank you for what you have done in jesus name amen 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 god bless you apostle we connect to apostle from pombo from the uk Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for this session of prayer. We want to put on record our appreciation to our chairman, the prayer coordinator, the leadership for granting us this opportunity to lead this session. We have three topics in this segment of our prayer session. We will intercede for our church, our leaders, and our global community. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on three prayer topics. First of all, we are praying for the stirring of the spirit to cause our membership to transform their world through the evidence of their changed lives. Secondly, we'll be praying for our educational institutions and healthcare establishments to be standard bearers and impact nations for Christ. And finally, we will also pray for God to raise godly and transformational leaders through the church to influence the nations with godly values. Amen. Amen. So let's take the first one. That is transformation through the Holy Spirit. I want to take this scriptures from 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 reads, And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, the scripture challenges us to allow ourselves to be transformed into the image of Christ by the Holy Spirit. We sincerely believe that if we allow the Holy Spirit to do his work in us, we will be transformed by the renewal of our minds to the extent that we will not conform with the pattern of this world, but we will do what Christ did we will make a difference in our societies. We will make the right impact. Oh, yes. We will be people who are truly transformed and who cause transformation wherever we appear. We want to raise this prayer topic oh, yes. with all passion that the Lord himself, by the power of his spirit, will cause us to be transformed, that we will be transformers wherever we are. Let us lift up our voices in prayer. Let us lift up our voices and pray. This power that we are asking for, the power of the Holy Spirit, is going to touch us and transform us. That wherever we are, wherever we go, we will cause change. We will be agents of change in our communities, yeah. in our societies. There will be evidence that we are transformed by the power of the Spirit. We will be Let 
Beloved, we want to continue praying on this point that through the stirring of the Spirit, all of us, all our membership, will be people who transform their worlds through the evidence of their changed lives. Apostle Peter, in First Peter chapter two, verse number thirteen, urges us to live such good lives among the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong they may see your good deeds and glorify god on the day he visits us first peter 2 verse 13 that they may see your good deeds we want the spirit to stir us up unto good deeds that through the evidence of our changed lives people will be transformed as they behold us let us pray let us pray Yes, O Lord, stir us, stir us up, stir us up unto good deeds that we will live such good lives among the pagans that they may see our good deeds and glorify you, our God, that they will be changed as they behold us, that they will be transformed as they look at us. We want to decree it because we know that if we decree it, we shall come to pass. That the Spirit of God will stir Himself in the hearts of our members, that they will be transformed. All our members will be transformed to transform their spheres through the evidence of change life. 
lives. In the name of Jesus, we decree it, we declare that it is established because Jesus is in the house. We want to continue praying, beloved. We want to continue praying on our second point, which is the influence of our, on our, uh, uh, the influence of educational and healthcare institutions. L listen, beloved, our institutions, our, our universities, our schools are not just centers of knowledge and, and, and our health centers are not just centers of healing, but they are beacons of spiritual light. Jesus declared, you are the light of the world. In Matthew 5 verse 14, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. In the same way, in verse 16 it says, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. This is what we are praying that our educational institutions will be like. That there will be the lights that shine before others. That they may see the good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. We, at the same time, we are praying that our health institutions, our health care facilities, will be places where people get holistic healing. That indeed, they, when they visit these places, they'll be able to answer the question that Jeremiah posed. Is there no balm in Gilead? In Jeremiah 8, 22. Is there no balm in Gilead? And the response will be, there is a balm in Gilead. We have a physician, one who heals and heals completely. Let us lift up our educational institutions. Let us lift up our healthcare facilities to the Lord that there will be light, that there will shine, that there will cause people to declare that in peace, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah is with them, Jehovah dwells in their midst, let it be so, wherever they go, that they will declare that the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of wonders, is still working, working, is still working miracles in the midst of his people. We are lifting up all our educational institutions and our health care facilities in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, cause our educational institutions, our universities, our, our colleges, our schools to be places where people get enlightenment, that they really enlightened, that they see your glory, that they themselves become light bearers after being impacted by what they receive in the educational institutions. Father Lord, let our healthcare facilities be places where people receive holistic healing. Lord, cause people to be healed spiritually and physically when they visit our healthcare facilities. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, we want to move on swiftly to our third topic for this segment, which is on raising godly leaders. The fact of the matter is that, beloved, the role of leaders is pivotal in our world today. The world needs leaders who can truly influence the nations with values and principles of the kingdom of God. That is why Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy 
in First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and he said to him, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, and all those in authority. We are praying, therefore, that we will see our Heavenly Father oh raising transformational leaders from our, amongst the people in our congregations. Leaders who will not only preach his word, but will live his word. And they will influence nations with godliness and integrity. We are praying for leaders who are close to God, who are so close to God that they will hear from him. We will pray that these same people will be able to lead nations into a transformative future. Let us lift up the prayer. Let us lift it up. We are praying that we will have godly leaders through our churches. People who will influence their spheres. Their spheres. People who will hear from God. People who will lead nations. They will lead their spheres into transformation. Into good, goodness. In the name of Jesus. Sakatole Bariande. Laka de la Leleba. Sian de la Lebadia. Sekitan de Lebe. Sandala de Lebe. Takale Leleba Ronde. In de la Lelebaria. In de la Leleba. So the Bariande. Sakitan de la Lebe. Sakaton de Yale. Hellebariande. Yes, Lord, do it, O Lord, do it in our day, do it in our time. Yes, O Lord, that we will see impactful leaders, leaders of integrity, leaders of character, leaders who bring real transformation, positive transformation in their various fears. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Masata. Give us thy grace, O oh Lord. Thy grace we need. Thy grace, O oh Lord, we need to do. joining our hearts and minds to decree it and to declare that our prayers will echo in heaven that heaven will respond that in our midst we will see members who have been transformed by the stirring of the spirit and they will be able to transform their spheres through the evidence of changed lives we are praying that our God will continue to work in our lives, in our schools, in our health centers, in the, in the hearts of leaders that he has chosen, that they will influence their spheres with kingdom values and principles. We pray in the name of Jesus and we declare it done by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. to me. Riviera, Adira, Wadi, Babra. Oh, 
내시랜나 채워 파이 보무 파이 보 파이 보 틀리에 비비 Lord, as we continue to pray, I just want to bring to your attention that let our prayer be persistent and fervent. Because out through this, God is going to grant us our prayer requests. We want to thank God and we stand the same protocol expressing our gratitude to our fathers to lead this prayer session. In 1 John chapter 5, the verses 14 and 15, 1 John chapter 5, 14 and 15 According to the New International Version, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if He asks anything according to His will, He hears us. And if you know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of Him. Hallelujah. Amen. And so our fair prayer request is that we are praying for resilience and growth of members' businesses through covenant blessings. God has assured His church that he is going to supply the needs of the church from time to time. And God has been faithful to the church and consistent with the church throughout the times. And this is a time that I believe that we are asking God that he will grant growth to our members' business and resilience through these challenging times. Because it's a covenant-keeping God, he will be faithful to the church of God. Shall we continue to lift our prayer unto God? Ask him the Lord. We are praying for resilience. We are praying for growth. We are praying for growth for our members' businesses. For there's the confidence we have in you. We believe in your word. Your word is true. Your word is sure. Your word is powerful. Whatever you have said concerning the church of God shall come to pass. And so we live and pray unto you, God, that as we approach you tonight, we know that we have confidence in you, that you are a prayer answering God. And when we pray according to your will, you will grant unto us what we have asked for. And if you know that you hear us, we know whatever we have asked, we know we have received it. And so we pray for our members' business, oh God. Let the business grow. Let their business flourish. In the name of Jesus, we are lifting our prayer unto you, God. Let the business grow. In times of challenges, bring new ideas. In times of difficulties, bring fresh ideas. Sustain members' business, oh God. In the name of Jesus, grow for God. Every fortress of members' business, let it grow. Let it progress. Let it increase. Let it flourish. In the name of Jesus. Members business grow, members business flourish, may it be sustained in the challenging times. Lord, provide a way, make a way where there seems to be no way. Those that are going down, sustain it by your power, sustain it by your power, sustain it by your power, sustain it by your power. Breathe upon businesses, let it flourish, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I am a couple. By a couple, I am a son. By a couple, I am a young daughter of a son. Rabbi, I am a couple. We lift our hands unto you. Let the business grow. Let it flourish, oh God. Sustain it by your power. By your powerful word. By your powerful word. You are covenant giving God. May covenant blessings rest upon businesses. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, sustain business of God. He can buy a dose. Rabba Kata Yendara. Let's Sultana Mama Kosa. Hey, Kabawa Yarababa Kapa. Rabba Yarababa Kapa. Yababa Yakapa. Rempenebe Kapa. Boys Katana. In the name of Jesus, may the business grow. May they flourish. May they be expansion. Let them cross countries. Let them cross nations. Let them cross boundaries. Let them cross nations. Across the oceans. Across the oceans. Many branches of God. May you flourish in difficult times. Up in the house. 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 Sustain businesses. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying according to your will. Because you have said in your way. The Lord, you are the reason for our blessings. We should know and acknowledge you that if you are blessings, it comes from you, God. You are the one who causes us to flourish. May business flourish in the name of Jesus. Let it resist the times. Let it stand through the times. Let it stand through the times. Let it stand through the times. He calls God. Mandola Babarosa, Repenebe Kapaya, Mapaya Kapaya, Rapaya Rabba Kapaya Osa, Mambaya Rabba Kapaya, Repenebe Rabba Kapaya, Ambaya Kapaya Deso, Rock Kapaya, Increase, 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 Increase. We prophesy over the businesses that is your stand, that is your stand in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we continue to pray. And now we want to pray for Pensa and other members who would obtain strategic placement in their job market and become agents of transformation in their fields of endeavor. I have read through the Bible and according to Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. Now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators and the settlers by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Mm. Our prayer is that God, Go through Pensa, mm. will raise members mm. and place them as strategic placements mm. in the job market. Mm. And they will become agents of transformation mm. in every field of endeavor. Mm. That God will raise men and women of standard. Mm. That whenever they appear, mm. they will be agents of transformation. Mm. As Daniel was able to do it, may you be able to do it in our time. Let's cry out to our God to raise men through Pensa, through our institutions, wherever they are, wherever they are. God should raise them, God should bless them, God should sustain them, He should beg them up in doors of job placement in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God ever kapaya, ya bakato ya desa, raba bakapaya na raba sa, ilaba yonda raba basa. Lord, strategically, bless our friends and members as they come out from school. May they not be jobless. We are praying for open doors, opportunities, open doors, lift them. Direct them, order themselves into place of influence. When they go there, may they be agents of transformation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, sustain them, Father, sustain them, Father, sustain them, Father, sustain them, and place them wherever you want them to go. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, men and women of standard, men and women of standard. In the name of Jesus, in the top of the market, use them, agents 
transformation, a dent of transformation, a dent of influence, a dent of influence, a dent that will bring about the values of the kingdom of God in every sphere of endeavor. Lord, bring them to pass, bring them to pass. Raise the Daniels, raise the Esthers, raise the Deborahs of our generation, of our generation, of our generation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, raise men and women of standard, oh God, of standard, oh God, to be placed as a dent of transformation. Makura Yabakosa, Ida Kapara Dosa, Mada Baba Kapa, Mada Baba Kosa, Mada Laya Kapa, Roka Baya, Imbalay Kotoska, Ina Naimo Jesus, Ambala Bakosa, Ambalia Kapaya, Ina Naimo Jesus, Luka Faya. In Jesus name. Now we declare the blessings of God upon the church. Wherever we are, lift up your hands and receive the blessing. We are praying bless upon the church of God. In the name of Jesus, may the church be blessed in the city. May the church be blessed in the country. May the church be blessed with men and women of valor, men and women of substance. May the church be blessed in our going out, in our coming in, in our spheres of endeavor. May the church be blessed. Every job opening door, let it come to the church members. In the name of Jesus, may the church raise men and women of standard who are blessed financially to support the church. In the name of Jesus, let God raise men and women with job opportunities who will be entrepreneurs in every state of endeavor, in academia, up in universities, everywhere. Business opportunities in the name of Jesus. Business everywhere, across the nations, across the nations, in other countries. God raise men, raise women who you are blessed in every way. Now we declare the blessing of God upon your life. You'll be blessed when you are going out. You'll be blessed when you are coming in. Everything your hand finds to do will be blessed. May the breath of God come upon you, come upon your business, come upon everything you are doing in the name of Jesus. May the favor of God rest upon you. May He elevate you and bless you beyond the reach of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. Never curse. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. The reason why I'm excited about this prayer is that we know that the rapture will happen someday. But when it happens and we leave, the world should know that some people have left. And when we leave, the world should know that people have vacated the place. We have left. We should not be some uh, in any more some people that when you leave, they don't even know that something has happened. And said so that they will mention the news that uh, some people say they have. When we leave, the world should know. Now some people have left the face of the earth. Amen. Transformers have left. Yes, Power packed people have left. Yes, Until then, we have to shake the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May this great grace be with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is even the day too. Yesterday, somebody, and this morning, somebody made it. Hey, after yesterday night, it was fire. And not tomorrow, somebody will say, it's fire, fire. So hold up and then let's make the date that tomorrow it will be fire, fire, fire. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to say God bless you, Pastor Gabriel Owusu, for leading us in the period of adoration. The yeah, Apostle Dr. Emma Jimmy Markin for leading us in the first intercession. Apostle Kwaku from Pombuedu of the UK for leading the second intercession. Our own dear Pastor Felix Auntie for climaxing tonight's session. Dearly beloved, let's hold ourselves up. And uh, as I said earlier on, the house is fully packed. The chairman is here, the general secretary is here, uh, our VCA plus is here, and many more men and women of God are in the house. So hold your own wherever you are, and let's hold ourselves in readiness. Christ is tomorrow, same time we'll be here firing.
Great things will happen. Amen. Before we leave this earth, the earth will know that some people have left. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise and close? Oh, hallelujah. May great grace be with your people, O oh God. Amen. Perform those awesome things that you alone are able to do. Let this word be shaken by the power of the Holy Spirit through your church. Let the light overcome darkness. Let victory be with your church and your people. Let the nations know that your church is here for your greater glory. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May his presence go with you. May he enable you to do great things for his glory. May he weaponize you to transform your world. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. 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 And God bless you so much for coming. Amen.